That's just too godlike. I love this. Oh, I'm at seven wins. Let's uh, let's make sure we stay at the high win streak. Any tips for not sucking dick at the game? G get good? <laughs> Is that a good response? Here's the thing. In order to become the best player in the world, you just need to do one thing. You just need to do one thing. You need to fix problems in your gameplay. That's literally the only thing that, that competitive players do when they want to become like, like really good. It's the only thing they're doing. So that should always be like the, the goal, right? So when you're stuck, you only only need to ask yourself a single question. Where can I do better? What kind of mistakes do I still do? How do I prevent myself from making those mistakes? Got debated. <laughs> <laughs> I got him good, damn. Why is it every time I see a pro player fight an Alex, they lose? Uh, it doesn't happen that frequently. Alex is a character with a lot of inconsistency, which works in favor and against him. You have to consider a couple of things when you see Alex. You have to consider that, yes, uh, he's a character that can be quite annoying for competitive play. But at the same time, this right here is the perfect example of why Alex player or Alex is considered low tier. If you have to rely on stuff like that to win, then essentially you're boiling down your gameplay to a coin toss. If you boil down to your gameplay to a coin toss, then you can't win at a tournament because you need to be able to win against 10 competitive players in a row. How, how likely is it for you to get that coin toss properly like that? every time. It's very unlikely. Round and we're one. getting what isn't unlikely though is the massive support from this community. Really? Thank you so much for the 10 gifted subs. Very much appreciated. God damn it. Okay, 11, let's go. Like, whenever you, like, you're stuck at a certain league, the next league seems like an over... Like, seems like impossible to reach. But once you get there, it seems natural to be there. And that's because, like, once you finally fix that one problem in your gameplay, like, players that are better than you, they're not special people. <laughs> they just fixed issues in their gameplay that you still, that you haven't worked on. That's really all there is to it. But like that being said, for a lot of people, it's not a lot of fun getting to the highest level because it requires constant effort. And if you're the type of player that's going to be like, I'm, I'm happy in Silver League or I'm happy in Bronze League or even in Rookie League for that matter, it's totally fine, okay? <laughs> it's all about like, it's kind of easy to forget, I feel like with like fighting games. It's about having fun. So do whatever you need to do in order to have fun. I got to dine with my anti-air still being kind of crap. Now that I've improved them, I found it so much easier to win games. Yeah, yeah. Like, this is usually what happens uh, 
I, I also remember a time when I didn't ever crosscut. Uh, Just Fog came into my stream telling me that I need to work on that and that my gameplay is so good and like my anti-air game is so weak uh, compared to the rest. And he was right. The moment I learned crosscuts, uh, like it was so much easier to uh, make progress in rank all of a sudden. How far into SF5 was that? Uh, I think it was 2018 or even early 2019. I actually learned cross-cutting some- uh, Actually, I can tell you when. Like, just look up when my tutorial- When did I make my tutorial by cross-cuts? Like, I basically made my tutorial right after learning it. Okay, January 8th, uh, 2018. You so, win. early 2018. So, uh, remember, I, I at that point, I have been playing Street Fighter V for about two years. Right? And I still didn't crosscut. That was a good one. Damn. That's a real punish with CA. I wonder if he's not gonna go for that. I think he wants to go for it. Oh wow, that was far, damn. Okay, 13. Paper trail. Have I ever made, uh, met this player before? I'm actually not so sure about that. I couldn't block that initial attack. Oh wow, I could not take that. Wow, like there's something wrong here. Hard to say with Gil, to be honest, because I feel I I do Round struggle one. against Gil personally. So it might ne not necessarily be a Smurf. I mean, the connection is total ass as well. That doesn't really help. Wow, and it's a ping issue. Whoa, it's a massive ping issue. Yeah. Oh my God, this is unplayable. It's jumping between 50 to 300 milliseconds. It's probably a muscle noob Smurf. That's the case. 
this, this is not a lag switch, though, right? Over. So it is very likely just a strong player. Like it's probably a smurf, but not a smurf that is purposely messing with connection. I definitely don't want to lose match here, though. You're in silver rank. Yeah, so it is a smurf, indeed. So at least we have some confirmation here that this is a smurf. Okay, there we go. Okay, a couple of days I have had issues with, with my hands or with my left hand. So, it could have been related to that, but the issue persisted, so not 1% sh not really sure about it. Because if they collide at the perfect range, uh, Ryu's light kick will will be inside of the hurt box of Kami, but her fears will be outside of um, her fears will be outside of my hurt box. Why are you bringing up like false information? And then when I correct you, you're not even able to to acknowledge that. It was a really valuable conversation as well, because I actually learned something there. I learned that Ryu's string can be minus one if you stand correctly. This is not something I knew about before. I'm schooling this Akuma. This Akuma has terrible spacing. The reason why I'm able to have conversations, uh, a conversation like that against uh, like with you guys is because his, his spacing is really bad. He's getting whiff punished and stuff all the Round time. Two.
wow, what a bad jump from him. Nine wins, making some really nice progress as I predicted for today. Very nice, I'm happy. Risky boy! Let's go. Okay, 12 win, let's go. That's fine. Good. There's so much rest restraint shown here. Oh, I missed this. There we go, finally. I've missed this uh, punish so much, and I feel like I, I always do the critical R2 early. Like, this is, uh, interesting. I actually need to hold back on the reaction. V-Trigger 2 is quite interesting. I wouldn't say it's the no robbery option. Clearly, it has a lot of robbery. Man, he's completely overwhelmed. I normally don't beat this player this convincingly. I'm doing so well today. I wonder if it's because of one-sided rollback in my favor. Am I godlike or is just the netcode working today? Like in my favor. Okay, we're gonna spend the CA here. Oh wow! I can't believe that jab was safe. Did you see that? I hit him, but he didn't punish me for it somehow. I was not. I was not ready to punish there. Okay, 15. Where's V skill 2? Hey, I'm trying to win. You win. I'm gonna do a shimmy just for still 
scrub right here. He's not taking the bait. Still scrub, you lied to me. You said this is effective. He's not taking! Because <laughs> he's a smurf. <laughs> Oh, you're starting to sound like that Jimmy Scrub guy. Jimmy's man! Okay, 16. Wow. And that was a punish. That was a legit punish for that back jump that I did. I could not block that. <laughs> Amazing. Round two. He got me good, damn. <laughs> that was a good one, damn. Oh, come on, really? What an amazing way to convert. Okay. Ah, that was a good set though, damn. You lose. 